Now this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. That's something pretty cool today. It's a really tired bulldog. <laughs> Usually he runs at the camera. Hey, I've got a 1972 BMW 2002 TII. Actually a really nice car. I was actually pretty impressed uh, with this thing. Um, I've never really driven a 2002 and I think this will probably be one of the next cars, classic cars that I actually buy uh, in the future because I don't know, it's pretty special. I like the way it handles. I like the way it feels. Um, I don't know, everything about it just pretty cool. The uh, I'll just walk around it here. A friend of mine owned this uh, since 2000. I'm going to shut the door so it's nice and even there. Uh, he, he bought it about 10 years ago out of Portland, Oregon and has had it ever since and asked me to uh, help him sell it on Bring a Trailer. We've actually sold a couple cars for him and he's actually bought a couple cars from me on uh, Bring a Trailer so it's got, been kind of fun. Their uh, names are Dan and Sue and really really nice folks and they love Stanley. Uh, the first car they had bought from us was a uh, Callaway Corvette but I think the, the most reason they bought it because they want to bring Stanley treats and so Stanley loves it when they come over. So if you need any help selling anything I would be glad to help um, <clears throat> as long as you don't mind showing the uh, goods and the bad you know along with everything. I don't like smoke and mirrors. Eventually you're going to see it so I want people to know exactly what they're buying. If you look here, Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. You can check us out on our website, Instagram, Facebook. But in these videos, if you want to sell something, I'll only sell it on Bring a Trailer, uh, not anywhere else. So, because I'm using that platform. So we're just going to walk around it. Uh, you can see the uh, headlights are upgraded to Bosch. You can turn the headlights on. They're H4s. Might have to have the key on. There we go, headlights, and we got bright lights, and you can see the uh, the marker lights on there. Got how it turn signals. Okay, I'm back. We had a little malfunction. Someone was grabbing the wrong uh, switch on the. Uh, the high and low is on the left hand of the steering column and the turn signals on the right and left. So let's do it again and we've got turn signals. And we got, you can see the turn signal and we'll go here on the other side there for you. Marker lights all work. We're going to go back here. It's hard to tell out here in some, but you can actually see a glimpse of that one on. And let's go. We got brake lights, we got turn signal left and right, brakes, and you can see the uh, marker light is on. And the license plates are working. I haven't checked the uh, reverse. Go ahead and go ahead and put it in reverse. Yep, reverse lights work as well. So that's really good. So we'll just walk around to the front, uh, to the back. I'll just show you the paint has been repainted. It actually looks pretty nice overall. Um, there is a few little rust spots, mostly on the fenders, honestly. Uh, if you look right here, you can see a couple little blemishes there, rust bubbles and a little bit down here. The rockers and doors, quarter panels, all look really good. You can see a little spot right here, but very isolated uh, just to the fenders. You can see right here the bubbles and a few right there. There was a little patch they did a long time ago, and I'll put it up on my lift right in here, and hopefully you can see that. You can't see it when you're on the car standing up. Little ding right there couple little chips little delamination right here but overall everything looks really good overriders are on it which a lot of people take those off but I actually like like those on cars uh, in general you can see here this fender has some bubbling below the headlight little chip right there around the wheel lips look nice this fender is actually in really uh, good condition except right there on the nose <clears throat> marker lights look good you can see some little scratches a couple little hairline 
wheels look good. You can see a little bit of curb here. These are off of a uh, 80s Porsche probably. Michelin Pilot Sports. Uh, date code is, where'd that go? It goes seven right there. Actually, I don't think that's the, the date code there because I think I had the receipt for a different thing. Let me look at a different tire. But they're Michelin Pilot Sports and size is uh, <clears throat> 195.60.14. We'll go ahead and take a look at this door. Door looks really good overall. Quarter panel, again, no rust around the wheel lips. Everything looks really good. A little fade on the light. A couple little scratches there. Actually, maybe yeah, the date code is 07. 2007 uh, right there 195 60 14 thought they were a little newer uh, than that so um, no rust around the trunk lid no rust around the back lights tail light panel all looks really good upgraded exhaust the other thing about this car it is non numbers matching um, it doesn't have the VIN stamp in the engine it's been upgraded with a five-speed and has upgraded brakes in the front from I think a 530. So if you look down the side of the car, it actually looks fairly straight and nice. You can see down this side, you know, a couple little tiny waves in the door, but overall looks really good. We'll look at the uh, roof gutter, no bubbles. I can see all the original spot welds all the way down. The roof looks really good general glass looks good take a look at this quarter here real fast for you you can see this has been tweaked just a little bit but again no rust at the bottom of the quarters no rust around the wheel lips everything looks really really good overall a couple little nicks on this wheel but nothing major bottom of the rocker here looks good little bubble right there in that door and the rocker I think there's a little bubble right there when I put it up on my lift will look a little closer but overall really solid underneath the car in general you know the paint I would just say it's really nice driver uh, quality well and they at this point but when they painted it they did a nice job on it overall so um, Hopefully that helps a little bit. We're gonna show you underneath the hood, interior. We'll put it up on my lift and show you a lot of different stuff. Hey, we're going to do a cold start on the uh, BMW real fast. At first, I want to show you this bike that I just got going on Bring a Trailer. Since you guys are BMW fans, it's a uh, R100 GS and only 10,000 miles. Super nice bike. I have a 04 GS. I'm kind of contemplating, should I keep this one because I like the vintage bike, but cool bike. So we'll do a cold start here. I'll get someone to uh, help us. Already got the hood up. I'm going to come along here <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on the header here. You can see that. Got my hand on it. It's dead cold. So when it first starts, shakes a little bit until it warms up. So we'll go ahead and start it. So it actually starts pretty good. Until it warms up, you can hear the exhaust. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. So it actually does pretty good. It likes to be nice and warm. There's not a, a choke on it. Um, so, anyways starts up real nice so we'll get it warm and uh, take it out for a little spin hey 
want to go ahead and uh, show you the interior. First, I wanted to show you again the panel gap is real nice on the car, and the door shuts good, like it should. Interior is nice overall. Dash pad looks good. You'll see a little crack right there, up there, but the rest of it all looks in really good uh, condition. You can see the VIN number again right here. Door panel looks nice. Windows do roll up and down nice. You can see the little chrome, little finishes come off. These little strips right here. End of the door looks good. You can see the VIN there, but you really can't see the, it's kind of worn off on that old sticker. If you look inside the jams, they actually look really nice. And they're not rusty. No damage inside there. Recaro seats. Don't have the originals for it, but that wouldn't be that hard to get. Steering wheel looks nice. You can see a little, tiny little stress crack right there. And another one right there. Hopefully you can see that. Five-speed uh, shifter. You can see the uh, pattern. It's not a dog leg. It's got newer model mats in it. Carpet looks pretty good. Um, pedals aren't all worn out or anything like that. Take a look at the back seat. It's been refinished in a different material, but it is an original back seat. Package tray. We'll pop this window out so those all pop open. You can see I got the other one on the other side. Headliner is good, except two little tears right there so you could either leave them or not um, <clears throat> dome light back of the seats look good so hopefully that gives you a good look uh, on this side uh, we'll do a little driving video too I'll take a look at the other side real fast Again, if you look at the jams, look really, really good. No accident uh, damage and no rust in here. Again, the dash pad looks good. The clock does work, by the way. I'll show you that later. Um, the glove box, it's been uh, upgraded with a different radio. Um, this is a non-smoker, it doesn't smell or anything like that, like smoke. There is a little bit of staining. You can't really see it in here. A little bit of staining on this seat. You can see it in the pictures a little bit better. Again, you can see the little chrome uh, finish has come off. A little bit of the trim uh, there. But the rest of the door panel actually looks really nice. Doors look nice. So hopefully that gives you a, a good look in general. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the trunk. There we go. Trunk area is actually really nice. If you look up inside, the trunk lid, it's not rusty or anything like that. It looks really nice. No rust back in here. And the channel, nothing around the rear window. You can see here the shock mounts look good, not rusty. And I'll go ahead and uh, take the panels out of here real fast for you. You can see the gas tank back here, spare tire. I'll take a picture of the, uh, the spare out of it. But again, there's not any problems with that. You can see back here on the panel, looks good. So overall, looks really, really nice. In here in general, the integrity of the car in general is really sound, actually. So hopefully that gives you a good look uh, in general. And we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Hey, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
starter up for you, take a look underneath the hood. We've already did a cold start for you. So anyways, there's a lever underneath the dash on the left-hand side, and it's already been pulled. Kind of a cool way to lock a hood down because you really feel like you've got it down because when you pull the lever, it, it locks into this side and that side, very manual. Um, <clears throat> the thing we want to look at in here is I'm not just trying to show you the engine, I want to look at the integrity of the car in general. And it's actually really clean. All the aprons look really nice. There's uh, no problems up here, hasn't had any accidents. You hear that noise? Stanley thinks it's hot. Um, actually, it was about 100 today. But you can see the VIN number is right here. And you can also see it right there on the tag. Engine number on the other side is right down there and I took a picture in the auction. It's not a numbers matching uh, engine or at least block. <coughs> but if you look at the aprons, again, really, really clean. No accidents or anything like that. If you look at the hood, again, integrity of the hood is really, really good. This is original paint inside here. No rust, no accident damage. We do have the original radiator for it. <coughs> Take a look at this side real fast you know again no accident damage up here and it's not rusty up in these areas except right here you'll see a little little spot um, the fenders are really on the car rust wise are the only thing that's it's pretty isolated uh, in general so but everything else looks clean again engine numbers right through back in here and uh, you'll see a picture of it fuse box everything's pretty clean in here in general you can see the original stickers up there on the edge of the hood so why don't we go ahead and fire it up it's already warm by the way you know when it first starts up after it's warm it kind of idles down a little low and then comes back so um but overall runs great runs nice and smooth go ahead and rev it up here doesn't blow any smoke. You know, sounds really good. So, anyways, we will go ahead and show you some more stuff. Hey, we're out. Uh, gonna take it for a little uh, spin. I just wanted to show you the gauges and stuff working while we drive it. Uh, one thing we just found out, we, I thought, let's try the hazard light and see if it works. Well, it does. You can see the blinkers and everything uh, work um, on the car, uh, but this thing is not catching. So we'll take it out of there and uh, take a look at, look at that. But you can see the tack is working. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit. There you can see it works. And, uh, and go ahead and turn the key off here you can see up there turn the key on you can see the alt and the uh, generator light uh, or alt and um, oil light is on so getting fired up and then they go out uh, automatically um, also one thing I have never tried it because uh, it hasn't been raining it's been like 100 degrees I need to look at this for you guys um, the uh, wipers aren't working uh, right now but um, we'll have to check that out uh, for you, but everything else seems to be working in general. The radio works, but I cannot catch a station on it. Uh, that's the way technology is uh, for us. So, um, anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, take it for a little spin, see what you guys think of it in general. Real fun car to drive in general. You can see the clock when I did my uh, cold start or my uh, walk around on the interior. The fastened seatbelt light doesn't come on. I'll shut up for a second and we'll drive it here. See the speedometer's working. Odometer reads 09380. And you can see the trip meter is uh, working there.
fun car to drive, really. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I just love the feeling, the way, uh, the way it feels when I'm out driving it. It actually feels good in the passenger seat, too, but I kind of wish I was behind the wheel, honestly. So we'll go ahead and uh, slam on the brakes here. Just wanted to show you how nice it stops. Doesn't pull, feels good. You'll notice not a lot of shake in the steering wheel. Uh, wasn't pulling or anything like that. So, why are you taking off in second? I, to I almost got off. elbowed in the head. <laughs> Anyways, just trying to be nice to it, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, it shifts nice, doesn't fall out of gear or anything like that. Um, just a nice shift in car. Anyways, we'll go out and have fun and I'll uh, keep on ribbing her as we drive. So, have fun. Hey, we're going to take a look at the 2002 TII underneath. You're obviously going to see all the regular photos in the auction, but we like to do videos as well. It just gives us a better chance to talk about things and just give it a different perspective uh, in general. So anyways, we're going to start here from the front to the back. You're going to see that the car is really solid underneath. Um, original panels and everything, floor panels and uh, pans and, and everything in general. Uh, you'll see here, a long time ago someone made a repair. They didn't really finish it off. You know, they welded a piece of metal in there, but uh, they could have totally finished that off a little better. That, you know, honestly, you don't really see it while it's on the ground, but you know, you can see the weld marks around there. So, but you can see it's all original here. You can see this is bumped out just a little bit, and that would be pretty easy actually to push back rest of the upper balance, if you can see up there, looks good. A couple little bubbles back here, and underneath here. Take a look at the other side there for you. You can see there back, right behind the bumper, you can see a few. <clears throat> Haven't seen any accidents on this car. Spring purchase all look good. Down here at the bottom of the cowl is in really good shape. You can see there, and there's no rust. Frame rails look really good overall. The brakes are from uh, 530. <clears throat> I think it's a 1980 or, or so, right around there. Um, so you'll see it's got bigger disc brakes up front. You can see here the front frame rails, inner aprons, back behind the uh, headlight area is in really nice condition. I'll take a look at this side. Again, you can see there's not any structural, any problems up here. Back behind the headlight is nice. Down here at the bottom of the cowl, very, very nice. <clears throat> not really any uh, oil leaks or anything like that. Maybe a little bit of seepage, but overall looks good. Very, very dry. You can see the header up there. Motor mounts look good. Inner frame rails, great shape. Transmission, you know, I haven't seen a lot of markings. I took a picture of a number up there, but I, like I said before, I'm not 100% uh, sure what it came out of. Uh, maybe some of you guys can identify it uh, for me. We're, we're thinking probably a three series. You see a drive line was made for it when they put it in. Magnaflow resonator, new pipe from back here all the way back. Then you can see the extension of the header. <clears throat> Floors, very, very nice. Haven't seen any accident damage, no rust, no repairs. So very nice original floors. Frame rails look good. A couple little typical dents right there <clears throat> for people putting jacks or different things. You can see this floor, again, looks really good. 
rockers look really nice. You can see all the original spot welds and things. You'll see a couple little bubbles right there at the bottom of the fender. Back here at the bottom of the rocker, a couple little, little bubbles. But again, the floors look really nice on this in general. You can see these perches look nice, not rusty. Inner rocker right there looks good. Take a look at this side. Very good shape. The rear end is posy. You can see that I'm turning it. And they're moving at the moving at the same time. You can see the uh, boots look good. They're not cracked. You can see they're not leaking or anything like that. Bilstein shocks. Again, if you look up inside the apron here, you know it's not rusty. Very clean. Take a look at this rocker. You can see some little bubbles right there. But the rest of the rocker actually looks really good on the car. <clears throat> Take a look at the rear end. I took a picture of the number there for you. That boot looks good. This one looks good. And then I'll take a look at the uh, right inside here, the wheel well. Again, very nice. Not any signs of any rust or anything like that or accidents. Back behind the lower quarter looks good. You can see here just a little rust spot. Um, not a big deal. Back around the balance here looks good. Fuel tank looks nice. Little dent right there. Muffler looks good. Magna flow. And the spare tire area looks really good too. So hopefully that gives you a good look at it underneath. Just kind of a different perspective. But it's quite a car underneath. I mean it's it's actually in really good shape. You know, mostly it's got the little rust bubbles on the on the outside like I've showed you in other parts of the video. But uh, structurally, I think the car is pretty sound. Nice rare car, nice upgrades and no reserve i mean so you can't beat that uh if you got any questions give me a jingle if you want to send someone over to take a look at it before you bid that would be great love to take you for a little spin and then also uh you know make comments and and everything uh it is no reserve top bid's gonna get it so pretty cool car thanks for taking a look and thanks uh bring a trailer for the good forum